listening to, I say you are listening to, you are absolutely listening to the George Esperlove Show coming to you live from the Funny Farm. Now with no further ado, here comes Georgie! Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I thank you, Charlie, for that fine introduction. That tip, tip, beep, beep, beep. Come on, Espen Lob. That that introduction that you do each and every time we come on the air. When that live button lights up, the red light lights up, oh, you get that warm, fuzzy feeling, and it's time to start the party. Hey, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. It wouldn't be a Friday night if we didn't come on the air, and what a better time to come on the air this Friday night because it's Valentine's Day. Wow. I hope you are enjoying your time with your valentine <clears throat> hey that's pretty good isn't it i i i, I made a little rhyme <laughs> <laughs> uh, but nonetheless i did uh i hope you're enjoying your time it, listen if you're out partying please please don't drink and drive don't drink and drive get uber get lyft get somebody anybody to take you home uh, but don't get behind the wheel of that vehicle. So have a good time, enjoy yourself, and have a lot of fun on this Valentine's night, almost said day, on this out Valentine's Day night. How's, how's that? that? That make any sense at all? Anyhow, we're going to kick this off. We don't know how long we're going to be on, <clears throat> but we're, <laughs> we, we, we had to come on. We had to come on. And, uh, well... Charlie's found another favorite of his, and so we're going to kick it off. All right. It is tap your feet, snap your fingers, bob your head, and most definitely shake your booty.
I've been talking all this time and my mic wasn't on. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, can you believe that? Oh, right off the bat tonight. Here here's what happened, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I hear a growling sound. Oh boy. Is there something in this room? Here's what happened. <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. If I recall we went on we went on the air live and my microphone was working i think and then i announced that we are going <laughs> to tap our feet snap our fingers bob our head and shake our booty and there was a song on top that charlie put on the console that he has really learned to love and I thought that's the one that was going to play. At the last minute, he moved it. He moved it down, and he moved one of the big band songs up in its place. And so here I am. I'm expecting all this time to be tapping my feet, napping my fingers, bobbing my head, and shaking my booty. And this song came up. And he was over there just cracking up. Everybody here at the Funny Farm Radio Studio knew what was going on but me, and they got a, a big kick out of that. And then, lo and behold, I come back on to tell people what just took place, and my microphone wasn't on. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Can you, <laughs> <laughs> can you believe that? My microphone wasn't on, but it's Friday night here at the Funny Farm, and... And you just never know what might happen around here. So let me say this again. Whether you're down the street, around the corner, across America, or somewhere around this great big world, oh, thank you for coming in, stumbling in, falling in, whatever happened. <laughs> uh, what, Charlie? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> okay, Charlie said he's going to do it right this time. This has become another one of Charlie's favorites. So hang in there with me, gang. I might get through this.
<laughs> wow. You know, while that was playing, I was sitting there thinking, my microphone wasn't on. What did I say that people didn't hear? Like it really, like it really matters, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. What did I say that people didn't hear? All right, so let me say this. If you want to call in, here's the call-in number. <clears throat> if I, if you heard it before, bear with me. I, I'm not sure I said it with the mic on or off. But if you want to call in, the call-in number is ready to go. It is 302-497-3414. That number again is 302-497-3414. If you're outside the United States, Put a one in front of that. This number is good for anywhere in the world. You can call from any device <coughs> from anywhere. 1-302-497-3414. Uh, <laughs> and if you call while music is playing, just hang tight. I'll answer you just as soon as the music is over. Uh, so if you want to call in, that's great. I guess if you don't want to call in, that's great, too. But anyhow, Charlie, take it away. I don't know where that come from either. But if you need help, hang up. <clears throat> Is that what she said? If you need help, hang up and dial the operator. Uh, I don't. What?
whatever she said, that could only come from the funny farm. I, I have no clue what she said. I, I don't have any idea, none whatsoever. Did I tell you that <laughs> I am so messed up tonight, I'm telling you what. Did I tell you that the uh, <clears throat> the chat room is open? If I did tell you, forgive me. If I didn't tell you, then listen up. The chat room is open. <laughs> Uh, the chat room is open. The chat room is open. The chat room is now open. You may enter. Come on in. <laughs> talk to me a little bit. If you want to talk to me, uh, otherwise, call this number, 302-497-3414. <laughs> oh, come on, Espen Lob. It is, again, 302-497-3414. You'd think this was my first day behind a microphone. Uh <laughs> Oh, lordy, 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 lordy. Hey, listen, earlier tonight, we did a live stream with Maxine. Uh, Mac Maxine is the hostess of what they call a ring bomb party. Uh, if you've never been to a ring bomb party, just go on Facebook and look up Unicorn Chasin with Maxine and Walter. That's Unicorn Chasin, C-H-A-S-I-N. Unicorn Chasin with Maxine and Walter. She goes live on Facebook every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night. Uh, she's a real blast, a lot of fun. She's a character. Uh, so if you want to find out what a ring bomb party is, you go to Unicorn Chasin, C-H-A-S-I-N, Unicorn Chasin with Maxine and Walter on Facebook, and there you can read all about it. You can look at her videos her, her uh, and catch the replays of the past shows, and I know that she'll be happy to have you. She'll make you feel right at home, and you just might decide that you like it. And speaking of Maxine, earlier tonight, we did a live stream show with Maxine. We uh, had a live stream into the George Espen Love Show on Facebook, and we did a live stream at the same time into Twitter. So, here, here's what it was all about. Maxine had made the announcement tonight, by the way of live stream, that she is going to start her own live stream show. She's going to be airing it every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And there might be some variations as, as time goes along, but... Uh, for the most part, she's going to be airing her show live at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and she will be streaming live. So uh, make sure that you catch her. This coming Wednesday night will be her first live show. And what she's going to do is she is going to be interviewing ladies from all across the country, in all from all walks of life <clears throat> and she's going to zero in on entrepreneurs women that have businesses both online and offline they might have a brick and mortar store uh, a business that that isn't primarily uh, online or they might have a strictly online business but nonetheless Maxine is going to be interviewing these ladies and she's going to have other ladies from different walks of life and they're going to you know just get on there and chat about lady stuff uh, so I'm excluded from that and she is going to call her program in fact she's already titled it Maxine's Chatterbox Maxine's Chatterbox so look for that and what I get to do <coughs> is after she's all done I get to download the video or the audio portion of it, and I get to put that up on the radio. And there'll be times that she'll be coming on the radio herself. Uh, Maxine is going to get it done, so get out there and support her. If you want to see the live stream that she did tonight, just simply go to Facebook, The George Espinlob Show, and you can see <clears throat> all about it. You can see Maxine and hear everything that she had to say. Uh, Charlie, <laughs> Charlie, don't don't mess with me no more, please. Uh. 
Rivers run dry, dust breaths in the air. Two dark days, do you have a tear to spare? Make a promise, the world awaits. It's heavy, just breathing through this debate. Start up, come on, start When they love you too much, no, it's fake, fake, or even hate. Don't be scared if the way paralyzes you stayed at the gate. No, it's a lot to take in, it's designed to know when, don't wait. Don't be scared when the way paralyzes you stayed at the gate.
I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing. <clears throat> I know where I'm at. I'm here at the Funny Farm in a place called Our World, uh, so I know that part. I just don't know what what what's going on. I was sitting here trying to think <clears throat> a while ago. Did I have my mic turned off again? Somewhere, <laughs> somewhere in this whole ordeal. Uh, usually, Charlie will hit the mic on and off for me and and he is right on i mean he's spot on all the time he but when he <laughs> when he tells me to go ahead and take care of my own mic which i can do for the most part but sometimes i just i just uh and tonight is one of those nights that that's all that's what i'm saying tonight is one of those nights where i don't know if i'm on if i'm off I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Other than I'm here live at the Funny Farm in a place called Our World. And, wow, if you tuned in, you are probably sitting somewhere, standing somewhere, <laughs> shaking your head and saying, man, what is this guy? Where did he come from? What turnip truck did he fall out of? Well, I don't really know. As soon as I find out, I'll be sure to tell you. But anyhow, <sighs> Onward and upward, as they say. We get down, down to the beat, y'all. We get down to the beat, y'all. It's like we're not going anywhere. Maybe it's because there's something in the air. Mm. And I don't even care, no, no.
Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. Uh, <laughs> I think he's in a lot better shape than I am. I'm, I'm telling you the truth. I was sitting here thinking. Uh, you say, man, you, you sit there and do a lot of thinking. Yeah, but most of the time I don't know. I don't even know what I'm thinking about. <laughs> and then there's times that I'm supposed to be thinking about what I'm thinking about so that I can tell people what I'm thinking about, and I can't remember what I was thinking about. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's just that way, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but anyhow, <clears throat> I was sitting here thinking, <laughs> and that's one of the times where I was sitting here thinking, and now I can't remember what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, this this is what it was. This is what it was. There have been a few times over the years that Charlie, for one reason or another, wasn't able to work the boards when we went on the air. <clears throat> for the most part. That that means that I had I had to do it from my side of the room. Uh, for the most part, I would do well, but there were times I can remember. There were times that I mean I blew this program up. <laughs> my mic wasn't on. Uh, this was supposed to be running when that you know thing took place and. Uh, and I'd have things just all messed up. Can you imagine what it would be like tonight if Charlie wouldn't be here? How much of a mess I would have made <laughs> like I didn't like I didn't already, you know, you know what I mean? Uh it it would have been a total disaster if Charlie wasn't here. I mean, he's ten feet away, twelve feet away from me. And uh, some of the things that I've done or should have done or didn't do, I I'm not so sure what it was, if I should have or if I didn't. <laughs> I mean, I'm just a mess. And I, I just, I, I need to get out of here because <laughs> oh, I don't know how much of this <clears throat> was heard <laughs> due to the fact that the mic was turned off. Uh, I don't know what was heard, when it was heard, but I, I guess I'm going to have to. Now, I don't usually listen to our shows uh, after after we do them, but I'm going to have to sit down sometime tomorrow and listen to this one because, <laughs> Espinlove, you, you really, you really tore this one up. Uh, but then again, it's Friday night, and we're here at the Funny Farm, and that that's that's all there is to it. You, you, everybody know what I mean, right? All right. Listen, Charlie's over there just shaking his head. Uh, he's telling me to cut it, cut it, cut it. He's telling me to get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. And so I think I'm going to listen to him. Uh, but I <laughs> thank you so very, very much for taking the time to tune in tonight. Please go to... Uh, our live stream that we had tonight on Facebook, the George Espin Love Show, and check out Maxine's announcement pertaining to her up-and-coming show, uh, which will be called Maxine's Chatterbox. So do that. Stop in there and take time to watch that video. I think there'll be some things in there that you'll like. And if you don't, just click it off and keep on going. But... <laughs> Uh, we're going to get out of here because Charlie is going to have a coordinator over there if I don't shut up and get off of here. But I want to say thank you. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> I don't know how many is listening right now. I wouldn't blame it if there's nobody. But nonetheless, wherever you're at, if it's nighttime, you have a great, great night. If it's daytime, have a great, great day. But regardless of where you are and what time it is. I trust that you will have a wonderful, wonderful remaining part of whatever it is. From all of us here at the Funny Farm, thank you. Thank you for taking the time of coming in, falling in, stumbling in, however you got here. Uh, maybe you're as in bad shape as I am. I don't know. I hope not. The world couldn't take too many of us all being the same way at the same time in the same place. But I sure do thank you for dropping in. And so, <laughs> until next time, 
I just trust and pray that you'll be kind one to another, love one another, pat somebody on the back, give them a great big smile, and don't be afraid to tell someone that you love them. You can make their day. You might even save their life. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, wherever you're at, down the street, around the corner, across America, or somewhere around this great big world, thank you, and may God keep you right in the center of his hand. Good night, everybody. <laughs>